We just out here rapping for the section. They was hating, now they want onto my guest list. I ain't playing, I ain't horsing in the peddlers. It's the black fucking genius. Yeah. Don't look great, don't get a wish. We are number one. We are number one. Hello there you BF109 scrub lords. I bet you are wondering why you are always doing worse against Yaks than Tom Brady in the first three quarters of the Super Bowl. Well you'll be glad to know I have the solution for you. It is called Fokker Wolf. The Fokker Wolf is a line of aircraft developed by our lord and savior Kurt Tank. And it is better at memeing a line aircraft than Germany is at losing world wars. There are two series of Fokker Wolf, the Antons and the Doris. The Doris are crutches for 1-8 Fokker Wolf players who can't jit gut, while the Antons are the master mean machines which are superior to all. The basics of Fokker Wolf are simple. Roll. Roll some more. And then when you think you have rolled enough. This aircraft is not a turn fighter per se, but it is capable of outmaneuvering most planes in the game due to its incredible roll rate allowing it to change the direction of its turn much faster than anything else on the battlefield, meaning it can easily win a scissor fight. At the start of the game, climb at roughly a 17 degree angle with the radiators at 30% or 50% on a map like Sicily. The same basic rule applies for all the Anton Fokker Wolves. If you are not facing 5.7 spur sapphires and other such super climbers then you can afford not to side climb in many cases, so judge the situation accordingly. If you find yourself above the enemy team which is common, since American pilots are so obese that they cannot get their fat asses above 3 kilometers in most matches then you are in luck. Simply start boom and zooming and blow them away with your firepower high speed control and rollbit. If a plane gets behind you, you have two options. There is either the Pussy's method of diving away which is valid, if you're facing something like a specifier LFMKIX or Razor, since these planes have such ridiculous power to weight ratios that you can never reverse them fully, or you can be a nutter G and engage intense Fokker Wolf and force them to overshoot. To do this, you need either speed or altitude, but a combination of both is the best, since without speed you will not gain enough angular deflection to be able to evade the UFO or brother that the instructor gives everyone in RV. In sim you can overshoot anything in any situation, since the rudder isn't perfectly auto-controlled. But for the sake of RB you need one of these two things. Start a shallow dive, if you have altitude and gain a little bit of speed. You want your speed to be above 400 km slash h in most cases, but at the same time your opponent must be going slightly faster than you are. In most cases a speed gap of around 30, 50 km slash h is perfect. Start using your ulrit to constantly get your aircraft out of the way of the enemy's guns until they overshoot. The best overshoots occur when the enemy goes slightly underneath you, since most of the time they will try to use their superior speed to pull up and over to reset the situation. This puts them straight in front of your guns. The overshoot is not really something that can be taught in text, but it has to be observed. You will pick up on what you need to do to keep the enemy off balance in time and you will need to be able to predict what your opponent will do next. Try to make the opponent fly past you as close to your aircraft as possible, in order to make the kill easy once they pass you, but don't get them so close that they ram you. If it all goes horribly wrong then you can probably just open up the gas and run. The FW-190S from the A5 onwards hit about 570km slash H at sea level and can outrun basically anything they face at low altitude. High tell it to your base or some allies to get them off your back. If you do not have altitude for an overshoot you need to start maneuvering much sooner. Using the speed you hopefully have, because if you don't you're fucked in RB. Make a very sharp turn to one direction, to build up as much deflection as possible for your opponent. Then just as their guns cross behind you cut the throttle and reverse your turn. It may be worth making this a high yo-yo turn to help bleed extra speed, and in some cases it can make it easier to slot in behind your opponent. From there engage in a scissor dog fight, 
until the opponent overshoots, and you wreck his pathetic ass. In a scissor dog fight chances are your opponent will try to make the scissors vertical, or rolling to take advantage of your relatively low thrust to weight ratio. If this is the case pop your flaps out and constantly turn into the opponent. Roll predictably to get a head start on a vertical or horizontal turn. The enemy will end up doing corkscrews around you, but will never get on your tail, since they are too fast. Eventually from this, you can work your way into a firing position and win. The Fokke Wolf has incredible flaps. The Takiya flaps do not rip off until 470 km per hour rise and that is only when the flaps have finished fully extending. Landing flaps can be deployed from about 320 km per hour and are incredibly useful in rolling scissors. In terms of upgrading the Fokke Wolf go for offensive 20mm belts and then get all of the performance upgrades before anything else. Crew skills are the same as any other aircraft, prioritizing G-tolerance and stamina. Here is a rundown of each Fokke Wolf Phantom. The A1 is the entry level Fokke Wolf at a battle rating of 3.3. It is an extremely well performing aircraft and outperforms everything at its tier. However it has no radiator, and thus is an overheating machine. So watch your engine carefully. The A4 is an A1 with some improvements, made so it doesn't turn into an oven as well as receiving 4 20mm cannons with lots of ammo. At a battle rating of 4.3 Otos certainly the best FW190 tier 4 tier in my opinion. The A5 represents the first big jump in performance, and has 3 variants to choose from. The standard A5 is pointless, since 4 20mm cannons is overkill for German cannons, since they do so much damage, so all it does is add extra weight to the plane. The A5-U12 is also pretty pointless, since it can only take gun pods, and it has two useless MGs which increase drag and weight. The A5-U2 is the best Fokke Wolf here with only two MG-151 cannons. This is all you need due to Manishals destroying everything resulting in this plane being the lightest and fastest of the group, making it truly deadly. The A8 is a downgrade in performance, but it gets lots of guns and an air spawn, so it is still good. Also it is tier 4 so is good for grinding. The F8 is a ground attack version of the A8 with two 20mm cannons and all sorts of ordnance options. Just forget about the Panzer Blitz 2 rockets however, because they don't fucking work. Now you have the basic knowledge on how to fuck a wolf. I would like feedback on this video to see if you guys enjoyed it, or if you think I'm just ripping off an Emilus away and being a retarded fuck. So leave a comment down below, and then learn the ways of the fuck a wolf.